I feel very, very bad for for the world we're leaving these these kids, you know. You're not gonna you're not gonna save this world on anything anybody would recognize as what the fanatics out there claim is 100% renewable. The vast, vast majority of carbon-free energy will have to be generated by nuclear, and that's all there is to it. So that's my fanaticism. You know, 30 years of climate change, and how has the energy balance changed? It hasn't changed at all. I mean, we have a little bit more solar and wind in the mix, maybe one, two percent, and nuclear's gone down. We've had the solution for 70 years. It's called nuclear. Great things start out small, right? From little things, big things grow. An obscure metal that could energize our world. It's called thorium. It's eco-friendly, and there's lots of it, many scientists say. It could even replace uranium as a nuclear power source. But despite its potential, the metal is yet to gain a foothold in the market. Thorium is cleaner, safer, more abundant than uranium. An experimental molten salt reactor capable of using thorium was built once, but we'd like to see them being used commercially to power the future. That's uh, that in dramatic fashion is relatively the amount of thorium that a person would use in their entire lifetime. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Energy dense stuff. That little bastard could power everything you use for your entire lifetime. So, very, very, six million times more energy dense than coal.